So Jesus obviously communicated with the Jewish people as well, so he spoke Hebrew and Aramaic was his native language. You know what is the term for God in, in Aramaic? It's Allah. Oh, it is Allah means God. Yeah? The only thing that is different is the last vowel, which is different compared to Arabic. So Allah is the God. And for Jesus, it was Allah. What's the name of God in the New Testament? Father is not a name. You're a son. Is that your name? And you'll be a father one day. Would that be your name? Yahweh. Yahweh is not in the New Testament. Yeah, but father is not a name. I asked you for the personal name. Yeah, I asked you for the personal name of God Almighty. Do you know what's his name? Has God blessed you with his name in the New Testament? Because he has blessed us with 99 names. How many names has he blessed you with? None. Zero. Zilch. Yeah, but why, why do people so use Yahweh nowadays? People can use what they want. Doesn't make it true. What did Jesus use? That was the question. Jesus must have called God in his language either Father, Abba, or Allah. Because that is in English. Obviously, you won't find it in there. But if you go to the Peshitta, which is the Aramaic Bible, you'll find Allah in there. In fact, if you go to the Arabic Bibles, you'll find the term Allah in there for God. Yes? The book of Genesis itself has maybe now a number of times where Allah is mentioned. Just the first page. So when you speak to Arab Jew or an Arab Christian, they say, Inshallah, Alhamdulillah, you know, God willing, yes, glory be to God. They use the term Allah because that is how God is referenced in Arabic. Similarly, how God is referenced in Aramaic was Allah. Say again. You know the term, you know the term God? was in use during the time of Jesus because English came much later on. Does that mean God didn't exist? Of course he existed. But they referred to him in a different way which is very close to the Arabic. Allah. Allah. I know you don't like it because it sounds very similar to Allah. You would rather it be called some, something else. But unfortunately that is what Jesus' language was. And your Bible hasn't mentioned a single personal name of God. Either it was wiped out or it was replaced with other terms like Adonai or I don't know. God even. Adonai is like the title. It's not a name. It's not a personal name. Yeah? Sorry? Yeah, but Father is not a personal name. Come on. Be frank with yourself, man. Jesus said to pray in the name of the Father. If you don't know the name, how are you going to pray in His name? Yes, we pray in Jesus' name. No, Jesus said to pray in the name of the Father. Yes, He did say that. How are you going to pray in the name of the Father when He hasn't, when the name of the Father has probably been wiped out from your New Testament? Yeah, He's been erased. I don't know why. Maybe it sounded too similar to Allah. <laughs> 